Hi guys. Hello. We are live and welcome to our Focus 8 to 10 webinar. Um, today is the 1st of April. You know what that means. No, what does it mean? Oh, it's a very special day where everybody, um, they play horrible jokes on each other. Yes, and what day is that? What is it called? It's called April Fool's Day. Yes, so happy April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day, guys. Make sure to keep your jokes safe and really funny and try not to make them traumatic. Yes. Well, no, don't do that to anybody. No. Um, it's not nice. <laughs> no, it's bad. <laughs> okay, welcome. Introduce yourselves, and we will introduce ourselves. Shauna, you want to go? You want to go first? <laughs> yes. So I am Joanna. I come from Cape Town, South Africa, mm -hmm. um, and I currently live in the countryside of Bologna. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were in that gelato in your dream. <laughs> in the forest. Yes, I was. <laughs> um, I've been living in, in Italy for three, almost three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Like a really long time. Yeah. Um, I'm a teacher with Kate at Bologna Mille. And um, one of our questions for today is what is the most interesting food you have ever tried? Yeah. Let us know. Um, I don't think I've tried anything really interesting. For example, I never used to eat sushi. Um, and then I tried it and I was like, okay, it's not so bad. Um, probably bamboo. Wow, that is really interesting. How did it taste and how was it prepared? It was cooked. Um, it was like cooked. boiled? Yeah, yeah, like boiled. It had like a sauce with it. It was really, really nice, actually. I'm not going to lie. I'd eat it again. Uh, but other than that, I haven't tried anything, anything really, really interesting. I'm up for the challenge, though. What was that? I'm up for the challenge. Like, give it to me. Okay. Yes, definitely. Um, have I eaten anything interesting in my life? I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Let me think. Okay. Um, I have eaten some. Like, it's not cultural, but it is still strange. I think. Um, and by the way, hi, Sole. Um, I ate, okay, I went to a restaurant, like a really fancy five-star restaurant. Um, it was a whole thing. And, um, interesting, like different, Sole, like different. Um, and so, yeah, it was, how do I describe it? There were lobster raviolis and then some of them had this strange sauce, which tasted terrible and it was awful and I hated it. And, um, oysters, fish eggs. Um, I yes. ate squid ink mixed in with um, risotto. Yeah, that was actually quite nice. I had that too before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very different, but I liked it. It was good. Um, yeah, so some of them were a bit, a bit strange. I hate oysters. Ugh. I tried it. Mm -mm. I've never tried oysters. I love mm -hmm. seafood. So generally speaking, all different types of seafood, mm -hmm. but cooked. So mm -hmm. I don't, I won't eat like like oysters or yeah. I don't really like mussels. Mm. I have eaten it in a pasta when I came here, but I don't, I don't like the texture. Yeah. Everything has to be cooked for me, except the sushi. Except sushi. Yeah, yeah. I know you agree with me. I do. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, you never told them what your name is and where you come oh. from. Oh yeah, who am I? Um, so my name is Kate. I come from the United States of America. I'm 28 years old and I've been uh, living in Italy for three and a half years. Oh, the same as me. Yeah. Same well, as I'm me. nearly three and a half years. I'm just like a couple of months short, like two months or three months short. Mm, yeah. We arrived at the same time. Yes, just different places. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yes, guys, in the comment section, please let us know what is your name and what is the most interesting food you have ever tried. So Sole asked us, uh interesting like uh dis like something she liked or disgusting and kate said it can be both mm -hmm. so interesting doesn't need to be good you yeah a bad experience with something mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Like, um, I don't know. Like, I love sushi so much, and I will eat it every day of the week. But yeah. I had a bad experience with it as well. I got sick from it. Oh, really? So, yeah, mm-hmm. funny enough, I got really, really sick. Um, where I was actually put off. I was like, I'm not going to eat sushi again. Yeah. I'm not eating sushi again, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, not for a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go through our comments. So, Sole Scott and Kate, Joanna and Kate. You spoke my name wrong. <laughs> you need just one N and you need, um, uh, what is it called? What is that symbol? I have no idea. No, it's okay. a worm. you need one of those. <laughs> it's a worm. But you can just, just one N. Just one All N. All right. Would you like to read the next comment? Sure. Good morning. I'm Thomas from Bologna. Hi, Thomas. And we have, Sole says, I tried sanguinaccio. What is that? I think I've heard about it, but I actually don't know. Sole, try and explain to us what is sanguinaccio. Yeah. Because we don't know. Like blood, because I know. I think that there must be something bloody and something raw. Okay. (laughs) We have Tiziana. Hi, Tiziana. Uh, Tiziana says she tried snail. And she said, terrible. Have you tried snails before, Kate? No, no. Have you? No, not at all. So I am I, I'm not really a lover of escargot. I worked in a restaurant, so I've seen them make it, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like earlier on, I said, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. Give, don't give me snails. <laughs> take it back. I take it back. I'm <laughs> not up for the challenge. I like a child eating their boogers. Like, Oh, this looks like a snail. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, it's the thing. It's like the texture is so important with foods. And snails are quite um, slimy. That it would be yeah. gross. Mm-mm. Oysters were slimy, too. Yeah, I that's think- why. Mm-hmm. Oh, you should read this one. No, no, you can read it by all means. But you should tell us about it. Okay, I've eaten ostrich in South Africa. It was strange. You would say strangely, strangely tasty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes. So <laughs> this is talking about my country. Ostrich mm-hmm. is actually um, a very nice meat. I've eaten it before. The only thing is it's very tough. So mm-hmm. when we talk about the adjective tough, guys, um, it means that it's very difficult to mm-hmm. chew. So it's like you put it in your mouth and you chew forever. You chew, 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 and you just can't swallow it. But it is very nice. Um, rich in a lot of protein and vitamins, but mm-hmm. also very, very expensive. Yeah, I believe you. It's a delicacy. Ooh, what is a delicacy? But it's not eaten every day or it's not eaten at home or something. This mm-hmm. is, you can only get it in specific places, like maybe an ostrich farm or like you, you don't find it necessarily in the supermarket. <laughs> ostrich right next to beef and? <laughs> it's like finding horse meat in Italy. Like, it's, Do they eat horse meat here? Yeah. Horses are great delicacy here. They love horses. Oh, deer. (laughs) Deer too, probably. (laughs) I've had deer, yeah. Venison is really sweet. That's what we call deer meat, venison. I think I've had that probably. Mm -hmm. And it's sweet meat. It's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tiziana replied to us. Oh, oh. Nacho is the blood of... Okay. Yeah, um, that's me. interesting. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> it's just the blood, though. Oh, it's mixed with chocolate. Oh, oh. okay. I'm okay. gonna try it. I'll try it. Yeah, let, let us try it. Give us some. <laughs> Why not? As long as it doesn't make us sick, we're fine. Yeah, so something that we can eat and feel fine afterwards. So yeah, yeah guys, um, keep commenting. Tell us what your name is. Uh, maybe also where you're from. Yeah. What is the most interesting food you have ever tried? I'm waiting for good examples. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen so everyone can see our wonderful focus activity. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So, today's focus activity is the history of food. Sole, I know that you've done this one with us, so please keep, keep, uh, keep on doing it, keep on watching. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you like to read? Sure. History of food. In this focus activity, food quiz, passives, famous food origins. Mm. Let's see, before we start, look at the picture here, guys, where my arrow is. Can you perhaps tell us what type of food we have here? List the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Let us know. This could be a good thing for countable and uncountable. I would think so, yeah. We've got some eggs and some... I think this is rice. I want to say rice. Mm, yeah, it, I'm not sure. It could be rice, yeah. Mm. Could be um, cottage cheese. Probably. <laughs> we have butter or margarine. margarine. What about what about this? Uh, this one is a good for, good, good word for pronunciation. So where mm. my arrow is at the moment, mm. I'm gonna put it in the comment section. Mm. It is steak. So steak. repeat with us, steak. Steak. Mm -hmm. So no steak, but steak. This is often um, mispronounced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite famous in Florence, the steak. Mm -hmm. And um, we love it. We love it. What about this one, this green one? So I know this is not parsley. This is... What is it? <laughs> I thought it was parsley. No, I don't think it's parsley. I want to say it's coriander. Oh, it could be coriander. Mm. Uh, could be coriander, could be. Um, so they has a question. She says, what are those two meats near the salmon? She put near mm -hmm. under. Um, it is steak. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but I think she, yeah. Do you mean steak or do you mean the sausage? Because there's also some sausage as well. Yeah, there is some around the, the the cylindrical things are sausage cylindrical what a great word uh, yes just in case anyone wants to know cylindrical is a shape how do i spell cylindrical cylindrical okay one l <laughs> cylindrical is referring to the shape of the sausage mm -hmm. mm. all right so let us continue in the meantime Mm -hmm. Would you like to read the questions? Sure. Okay. Uh, number one, what are the most famous dishes from your region or country? Which is your favorite and what is it made from? Uh, number two, what, which type of food do you think is most well known around the world? And number three, in your opinion, which country has the best food? Why? So before we continue, we have a comment from Simone. Hi, Simone. Uh, Simone says, an old poor dish is ass of chicken with sauce. Simone fr from Parma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I would love to know what this actually is, but please do me a favor and explain, because right now I'm just thinking of chicken ass. Yeah. So yeah, let us know in the comment section below. Chicken, uh, what's up chicken butt, literally. Exactly, what's up chicken butt. All right. Oh man, fantastic. So let's talk about your guys' um, most famous dishes. So a majority of you um, come from different regions in, in Italy or different cities. So let us know what are the most famous dishes from your region. Mm -hmm. um, if you're watching from the other countries, which we probably have people from France and Spain as well, please, please let us know what is the most famous dish from your country. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm from America, so we have hamburgers. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure there's something typical. What is typical? Hamburgers are eaten everywhere. Hot dogs. It's America. Hot dogs, hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> what about from your little city? Is there something specific, maybe like a pie or? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. um, 
there is something, but it's it's not exotic. But where I come from, um, the first place I was born and I lived until I was 12 years old, it's called Rock Hall, Maryland. So mm. it's a little, it's like one of the smallest towns on the Eastern shore of Maryland. And it's the most famous town in Maryland for crabs. Like, you know, the animal, okay. And so um, we have the Maryland blue crab and that is extremely famous. Um, and we would have lots of dishes with crab in them as well as just crabs themselves. And it was a tradition. So every summer, at least once or twice a summer, we'd get together, you and your friends, and you eat corn on the cob and blue crabs and you drink beer. And um, there's a particular way you have to put down newspapers to eat the crab and you have a little wooden uh, hammer that you crack open the crabs with. It's quite good. It sounds good. I love crab. So <laughs> I love good. it very much. Oh, Sola says, sorry, but I've done this focus. I know you have. I know you have. Don't leave but, me. <laughs> yeah, keep practicing, you know. You can never get enough practice with passives. Passes are not easy. That's true. That's true. Okay. Joanna knows. Listen to Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, what is the most famous dish or from, from South Africa? So we have a lot of famous dishes. Mm -hmm. um, like I've also done this focus. So I think I've mentioned before, the, I said something with a ruti. Now I'm going to think of a bunny chow. So we have a thing called a bunny chow. It's where you take a loaf of white bread Mm -hmm. so the soft bread, not the like the you know the uh, bread rolls or anything soft bread, and you cut it in half and you hollow it out, and inside you would put like curry. So curry is not the spice in South Africa. Curry is meat and vegetables um, with a lot of spice and flavor with like a sauce, and the whole bread is sort of like inundated with sauce and you, you just break the bread off and dip it in the sauce and eat it with the meat. Oh, amazing. That sounds amazing. It really, really is. I wish I could share a picture with you guys of bunny chow. So that's also <laughs> from South Africa. I'm going to look it up. I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> right. In the meantime, I'm going to read the comments. Is it um, like B-U-N-N-Y, bunny, like a bunny? bunny. Okay. And chow as in P H O W, not mm -hmm. like chow down, not chow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Thomas says the most famous dish from Bologna is tortellini, and it's my favorite. It's made from a mix of meat and pasta. Mm. Yes, this is my favorite food too. But tortellini in brodo, so with broth, uh, wow. not with cream. I don't like it with cream. Tortellini so this is broth. So if you can see this, this is bunny chow. I know I have a little bit of a glare. Hold on, let me try to make it a bit better. Ah! Yeah, that's bunny chow. You'd have it with meat inside and a lot of sauce and it's just very, very good. It's very mm -hmm. filling. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. I want some now, I'm hungry. I just had lunch, Joanna, why? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a pity I don't know how to make it. <laughs> Would you? I don't. I can't cook. Not me either. Would you, like to, would you like to read Valentina's comment? Sure. Uh, I'm from Sardinia, and the most um, you would say, and our most. So you mm -hmm. want to switch. Um, our most famous dish is roasted little pork. Little. Yeah, it's the porcello. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've never had that. Sounds really delicious. I've also never had it, but I've heard from a lot of people. So I think mm -hmm. when I go to Sardinia one day, mm -hmm. I need to try it. So. Tiziana seems to have a question. Soft bread, yeah. Ah, so soft bread. Mm -hmm. Like the bread that we eat. Mm -hmm. um, so in Italy, when you go to a normal bakery, for example, Panetteria, you guys don't have soft bread. You have more bread that's cooked in the oven that's got a harder crust. Um, and when you go to the supermarket, you do have soft bread in the packets, like the Molino Bianco, um, that soft white bread. 
but in Italy, you guys don't have the option to have a whole loaf without it being sliced. Mm -hmm. So in South Africa, we can buy a whole loaf of white bread where it's not cut. Um, yeah, so it's just like normal bread that you buy at the supermarket, just not sliced for you in order to make bunny chow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ah, it's really, really cool. Yeah, it's very different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I asked the question. Ooh, what is the food that you miss the most of your country? Mm. Ahead, Donna. What do you, what do you miss? <laughs> what is it? I, it's called a Gadsby. Uh, <laughs> a Gadsby, it's like a massive roll of bread. And inside of it, we just have chips, like fried chips inside of it. <laughs> you have like sausage, the Viennas, or you have steak on it. You have vegetables. And then you have smothered in ranch dressing. Oh, my God. It is off to die for. That's amazing. Okay. What about you, Kate? What do you miss the most? Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I do miss Mexican food. So um, when I lived in Portland, we had these um, authentic burrito stands. And like, they were authentic because the people that sold the burritos, they didn't include American things like sour cream or other things that we add to be American or whatever. Mm -hmm. And instead, they had the um, spicy green and red sauces, and the burrito was just the meat, the cheese, and the um, and the rice, really, or the yeah, and that was it. So, but they would be massive. They'd be these huge burritos, and it they were quite cheap. So I would spend maybe two dollars on a big burrito with green sauce. <sighs> I'm getting really hungry now too. So yes, mm -hmm. Kate the burritos. I'm not gonna lie, the one of the most thing or important things that I miss from South Africa is not food, but they are spices. Mm. So diverse culture, and we have a lot of Cape Malay and South Africans who we've sort of they uh, we've adopted their culture. So mm -hmm. people from India, from Malaysia, Indonesia, they came to South Africa and their food is rich in spices. So curry, masala, um, different things that unfortunately you don't get in Europe. Mm. So I miss the different aromas and spiciness and strength of a food that mm. here, unfortunately I can't get. Mm -hmm. So when you go to South Africa, make sure you buy a lot of spices. So uh, next time you go home, I'm gonna go into your suitcase and I'm just gonna get out when you arrive. <laughs> Okay, deal. <laughs> okay. Would you like to read Simone's question or uh, comment? After World War II, I think you you mean, or World War One? I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was used to stop a hungry stomach. So you could just say it was used um, to stop hunger. Hunger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To stop hunger, the noun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So chicken butts. They eat it. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have Greta. Greta says, hi, I'm from Naples. I think we are famous for pizza, most of all. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. She also goes on to say, in reality, there are many characteristic dishes. Mm -hmm. So, okay, such as ragu, fried fish, fried courgette flowers, and various types of pasta. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome, great sentence too. Thanks. Yeah, that was perfect. Nice sentence. Uh, I'm gonna read the last one. She says, mussels and beans, for example, or pasta and potatoes with provola and smoked bacon. Mm, oh, that sounds so good. I've just eaten, but I could eat again. Oh, yeah, same. All yeah. right. I just would, you like to, would you like to read Simone's comment? Sure. Okay, our land gives us, mm -hmm. so third person, um, many typical foods. Remember the uh, finalists? Parmigiano, parma ham, salami. These are the most famous dishes, okay? Then we have obviously pasta such as, remember when you wanna give an example, we need such as, um, anolini. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. So like, like that sounds so delicious. I know. Which one? All of them, I think. 
She's like, Jean, I'll bring you some spicy nduya. Thank you. Nduya, bring me some too. <laughs> Greta says, then you must try the tortano, also called casatiello, mm -hmm. bread with salami and cheese inside. It's common in Easter. Oh, guys, thank you so much for all of these like ideas. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put the next because I don't think I'm going to leave my house anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's one thing I was I was saying to my friend. I have a good friend in uh, America, and I said, Kendra, can you please teach me how to cook? <laughs> I have a lot of free time on my hands. Maybe let's do a Skype. A yeah, YouTube is your best friend now for recipes and cooking channels. That's true. Um, that's a good idea. I think, uh, let's get to number three. So in your opinion, guys, which country has the best food and why? So there is no right or wrong answer to this. This is your opinion. Kate, Italy. who has the best food? Italy. Italy. Why? Um, why? Well, I love pasta. And I love carbonara. And I love, what? Well, that's pasta. But I mean, so my favorite dishes are like risotto, carbonara. Um, I've always loved pasta. And I love pizza. So I think... Italy is a good choice, but if I had to say another country other than Italy, I'd probably say India. India. I love spicy food. <laughs> I agree with you. Um, I would say, I, I'm, I agree with you with Italy as well. I love pasta. Pasta is like my go-to dish. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't want to say Italy because we live in Italy at the moment. I'm not going to say South Africa because I come from there. I'm going to say every country that has spicy food. So that from Italy to Mexico, Mexico to, I don't know, Argentina to Spain, spicy food, give it to me. All right. I agree with you. Yeah. Every country with spicy food. That's my answer. Yes. But I was like uh, Japan for sushi. Because like if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have Japan has some very interesting food as well, not just sushi. And if you're ever interested, I can take you to Yuzuya, or if you live in Bologna, check out the traditional Japanese kitchen in the Bolognina. It's called Yuzuya. Oh, okay. I don't know where that is. I know Bolognina, but I've never been to this um, place. Right behind the train station. Do they sell like ingredients, like Japanese ingredients? No, but there, there are two Japanese women who oh, wants yeah. traditional cooking like they did back at home. So you have a lunch menu that's just the kind of things that you would typically eat. So they're mm -hmm. actual typical foods. And I had a fried salmon with like, um, um, with the mustard, um, spicy mustard sauce that was so good that I nearly cried. It was delicious. You're not the first person to tell me this. I've heard about this place for like, a, I heard about it a long time ago, but I just haven't gone yet. So when everything's back to normal, I will give them a visit. Yes. All right, let's see. We have some comments quickly before we continue to the next slide. Greta says, I have to say Italy. I love our feeding. Hmm. Hmm. We have food. Mm, food, yeah. Yeah, feeding is when you give food to someone else. Mm -hmm. So, for example, to feed the 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 poor or the homeless, you know, or to feed a child, to feed a child, to feed mm -hmm. an animal as well. Mm -hmm. Greta also says, but also dishes from seaside countries. I also love fish. Yes, South Africa for you. <laughs> yeah, and Portland too. I mean, not a country, but my state uh, was on the Pacific Ocean, so lots of sushi, lots of salmon, lots of seafood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. Uh, would you like to read Soles? Mm -hmm. I would say Japan or the U.S. Oh, you like? Or, yeah, I was about to say, or us. Maybe it's Italy. Okay, the U.S. Um, yeah, honestly, I think the U.S. is interesting because it's got everything. You can get Mexican food. You can have Thai food. Um, it's really popular to have, like, pad Thai, or you can have Vietnamese food. So it's got everything. Yeah. I don't know if I'd call that American food, though. Then I'd just call it Mexican food, Vietnamese food. <laughs> exactly. But that's why um, it's like it's not American food, but it's a good place to eat. So <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Thomas Thomas says that he knows the restaurant you're looking you're talking about. Yeah. He knows you know? about it. Yeah, it's so good. It was so famous that it was apparently um, difficult 
to go because it's so busy. Mm -hmm. um, gotcha. Now it's, it's better, but you still have to book a week before. Yeah, and it's a small restaurant. It's not big. Yeah, it's quite small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard about it too. Uh, Simone says also Spain has good uh, has good traditional food, mm -hmm. or you could say has a good traditional kitchen. Mm -hmm. but you have to use the article A mm -hmm. has a good. All right, let us continue. Okay. So, we have a quiz for you guys. All right, Sole, I know you've done this quiz, but keep participating. So yeah, we're going to give, give them the answers. Yeah, yeah, don't get all of the answers immediately. Um, <laughs> Sole gives a comment quickly. She says, I miss two American dishes, the hot dogs and soft bread. Remember with the E, bread with peanut mm -hmm. butter and yams. <laughs> you know, that's, that's not traditional <laughs> with the yams, but it sounds good. Um, I would eat that. Uh, but the hot dogs with soft bread, of course, is a traditional New York, a New mm. Yorker dish. You get the hot dogs on the street. Hot dogs is what they call hot them. Dogs. Like with hot a hot New York accent. Yeah. I can't do it, but. <laughs> I like it. All right. Um, so we're going to read the questions for you one by one. In the comment section, we want you to give us the correct answer. For example, ice cream was invented A, China, B, Germany, or C, Mexico. Give us the correct answer. Okay. okay. The second. Sure. Number two, the English muffin was baked in A, the USA. B, France, or C, England. All right, so don't forget to comment. This is a competition to see who's got the most correct answers. No, it's a competition. <laughs> yes, it's a competition. Keep things competitive. Yeah, you get one internet high five from us if you win. Exactly, <laughs> it looks like this. <laughs> All right, and number three. When mm -hmm. carrots were first grown, they were A, orange, B, purple, or C, green. Yeah. Maybe let's wait a second quickly to give them some um, some time to answer. So guys, we're on number three at the moment. Okay. Ah, yeah. uh, Sole, poor Sole. She says, I've done it, but I'll probably redo it wrong. <laughs> oh, it's okay, but keep trying, keep trying. It's good, it's good, okay. All right, Ooh. so we're gonna do answers. Let's, let's give them some time before we move to number four. Yeah, let's let them answer. Um, uh, out of all of these, okay, so we have carrots, ice cream, English muffin, chocolate, and french fries. Which one would you eat now if you had to choose? Out of what? All of the food you see here. Um, if you had to choose one to eat right now, which would you choose? Oh, probably an English muffin. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they're quite filling, I, I'd do that. That's a good idea. I think I'd go with a carrot. I I don't feel like I'm getting enough vitamins right now. <laughs> I, I agree. I like, I, I love carrots, I love vegetables, but I eat them every single day. So now I think I want to go with something chub. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, everyone's getting there. You want to read number four? Sure. Chocolate was first made by A, Belgians, mm -hmm. B, Italians, or C, Aztecs. Mm. And the last but not least, French fries were created in A, Belgium, B, France, or C, England. Mm. Do you know, for my whole life, I always thought people that come from Belgium were Belgians with an M and not mm. Belgians. Belgians. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ah, well, they're, yeah, they're Belgians. I didn't know that. I didn't okay. know that at all. <laughs> it's normal. All right. So we've got a good following of people. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So now what we're going to do, we're going to give you the answer. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> and the first one is A. Ice cream was invented in China. It was made by mixing rice and milk to create a syrup that was then frozen. So let's see who got it correct. 
We have Thomas got it correct, Greta got it correct, Sole got it correct. Excellent, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, good. Okay. Let's Ooh, go Simone to- also got it correct because I saw his comment later. Simone got it right as well. Everyone got it correct. High five. High five. High five. All right. Number two. Okay. Correct answer A. The English muffin was actually baked in the USA before it was brought to England. I would, I would, if they never told me this and I didn't, if I didn't know it now, I would never have thought so. See, it's an English speaking muffin. <laughs> it comes from every English country. That's right. <laughs> so who got it correct? We have Greta got it correct. Thomas mm-hmm. got it correct. Ooh, Simone unfortunately got it incorrect. No. Lola got it correct as well. Good job. All right, number three, let's do it. Carrots. <laughs> <laughs> And the answer is B, were originally purple. The orange carrot was cultivated because it tasted much better than the purple variety. Mm-hmm. So, again, Thomas got, no, Thomas did, Thomas, no. Mm-mm. You got C, it is B. Mm-hmm. Uh, Greta got it. Oh, also, Sole didn't get it. Oh, no. Okay, oh, only one person got it. I must, I must admit, for me, if I see an orange carrot and I had, if I had to see an orange carrot and a purple carrot, I would automatically think that the orange carrot tasted sweeter than the purple carrot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because all purple or darker fruit is generally bitter. That's true. Wow. I don't oh, know. It's my mind that. telling me that one is going to be sweet. That's good. Okay, number four. Mm -hmm. Correct answer, C. Chocolate was originally made as a drink by Aztecs and Maya from South America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have, who has the correct answer? Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas has got the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sole, no, you were so close. Greta got the correct answer as well. All mm-hmm. right. Okay, let's get to the last and final question. Drum roll. Okay. It's already there. <laughs> the correct answer is A. French fries were created in Belgium, then made their way to France. So mm-hmm. let's see who got it correct. Mm-hmm. Oh, Thomas, you lost badly. Sole, you got it correct. Greta mm-hmm. um, mm, 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 mm. also got it wrong. It's okay. And yeah. Simone got it correct. Good. Nice. Yes, guys. You guys are great sports. Mm-hmm. When someone says you are a great sport, it means you are a great, it's an idiomatic expression for like an interactive person, someone who keeps going and is always willing and happy to try it usually like sports or quizzes yeah somebody or competitions in general yeah yeah to be a good sport yes okay. yeah so one thing i will say about french fries is i when i visited belgium a few maybe five or six years ago um i discovered that this fact that french fries come from belgium and one cool thing is that in Belgium, they have 20 different kinds of sauces for French fries. I liked it. Yeah. yeah, so many. So samurai sauce, they have a cocktail sauce, um, they have uh, obviously ketchup and mayonnaise, but they have so many that you can just grab all these different to try. And they're very interesting. It's cool. I've never been to Belgium, funny enough, but I'm like now excited to go for the French fries. I'm not the biggest French fry lover, but if it originated there, it has to be good. Yes. It, oh, it's amazing. And also the chocolate. If you bite into a Belgian chocolate, like I almost cried. It's the best <laughs> I've ever tasted in my life. I'm serious. No, I believe you. I believe you. Just have to, to go there. I haven't tried it yet. So I can't say I know. You I will. Know. You will. So this is what about croissants? Mm. I'm not going to say France because it's too easy. Mm. It's a French word, croissant. Croissant. Um, 
I don't know where a croissant comes from. So yeah. let you know, tell us. I feel like she's gonna say croissant comes from Italy. Yeah, I, I that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> Please let us know where do croissants come from? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. So let us continue. Mm -hmm. So we have a nice text, but we have a word croissant ostrich. It ostrich comes, from, comes from probably from my country. I don't know where an ostrich originates from. Oh. I just know we have a lot. I wonder if it's a place, Ostrich? Is it like in Germany? <laughs> no, we're talking about Österreich, which is Austria. Ooh. Are you talking, Sole, are you perhaps talking about Austria? That mm. in that in Italian looks very like Ostrich. Mm, it could be. I've never seen the Italian spelling of Austria. Schmaus, come see Um Austria. Not in Italian. Uh, okay, never mind. It's Austria. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be something else. Okay. So I'm very <laughs> okay, so Sole was talking about Austria. Thank you, Sole. I just made myself look like a, a very big fool. No, no. You were correct. She was talking about Austria. But yes, Austria in German is called Österreich. Um, um, it's because Joanna lived in Germany for a little while, so she's got that German on the brain. Yeah, yeah, I have a German mother as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have a word here. It's called a staple food. What mm -hmm. does the word staple food mean? Do you know? Yeah, why don't we give an example in a sentence? So for example, when you're in New York, um, hot dogs are a staple food, especially mm. if you're busy and you don't have time. You can just grab one. I think that, and people probably disagree with me, everyone says a staple food is pasta. Um, I think a staple food is probably rice. Mm -hmm. I Maybe. think rice. So these are our examples. So it says, well known. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The staple food is something that is in our diet that we will probably eat a lot of, at least between three to four times a week. Mm -hmm. We will eat the staple food. Like in, in Italy, your staple food is pasta. Mm -hmm. uh, but in Asia, staple food is rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in, in America, the staple food is junk food, trash, trash food. <laughs> oh, shame. Poor Americans. Oh. Don't feel bad for them. Okay. So we have a text over here. Um, Kate's going to start reading it for us. What is important, guys, is to um, look for the passives while we read. So, Kate, mm -hmm. all yours. Okay. Huh. Um, pasta is eaten all over the world, but where was it first eaten? When most people think of pasta, it is immediately associated with Italy. But some would argue that pasta was in fact brought to Italy by Marco Polo in 1295 when he returned from China. You want to keep going? Mm, yeah, I would like listening. Okay, I'll, I'll keep going. Before that, it had been eaten by the Chinese as early as 3000 BC. But what the Chinese had created were actually rice noodles. They were similar to pasta, but were made using rice flour instead of wheat. Another popular theory is that pasta was introduced after Sicily had been invaded by Arabs in the 9th century AD. Wherever it came from, pasta has become a staple on tables around the world. That was so perfect. Do you know the last part where you said wherever it came from? It made me think of when there is the one focus at school. Sorry, guys. It was the one focus at school where they're talking about Happy Thanksgiving or something. And we have to video on YouTube. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like the girl for the video. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. All right. It's a compliment. So guys, in this text, we need you to find the passives. But while you are finding the passives, you need to tell us as well which type of passive it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, when we structure a passive, 
we always have the subject, which used to be our object, the verb to be conjugated, of course, and the past participle. Mm -hmm. But please tell us what or which ones are passive. Yes. Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, while you're typing, Simone says, in Belgium, I've only discovered a high quality of beer. And yes, I agree with you. And another fun fact about Belgium, every single beer has its own special glass. Anyway. These are all new things for me. I didn't know. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a word that I want to explain here for lots of people who tend to get this wrong. We have the word argue, mm -hmm. the verb to argue. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we have the verb to argue, it is when we are having a con, no, when we are verbally fighting. So mm -hmm. Kate and I, we're angry with, with each other, and I'm like, whoa. Oh, we're fighting. Okay. We verbally fight. Mm -hmm. And the other one that, that Italians tend to get wrong is to discuss. Like, I don't want to discuss with you or um, I'm tired of discussing. That's the wrong word. The word to use is to argue. Because mm -hmm. the verb to discuss just means to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we have a discussion to talk, a conversation. That's very good, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't want to argue and the discussion is a conversation, good. Mm -hmm. um, let's keep going. I think Sole has a um, an, an answer for us, it's a question. Yeah. Sole says, is eaten and was eaten. Let's mm -hmm. check. The pasta mm -hmm. is eaten. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So they good. Um, Greta has another answer as well. Mm -hmm. so says, um, pasta was brought and then it had been eaten by the Chinese. Good. So let's see. Was brought. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, uh, there's a different one I gave them. Is, oh. is associated. Sorry. That's another one though. That's good. No, this is okay because uh, we're get it's getting a bit late. So if you want to show them the answers, mm -hmm. so was brought, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then let's see, mm -hmm. had been eaten. Yeah, it's perfect. So yes, yeah, solid is associated is the first one. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. There's um at least one more. Mm -hmm. And actually two more. Two more. Had mm -hmm. created. Good job. Oh, why it's not there? Oh, we're made as well. We're made. We're made. I thought that was going to give me had created because it is correct. It's possible. Mm -hmm. awesome. mm -hmm. And last but not least. When we... Um, when, when we heavily discuss, heavily the adverb, yes. Mm -hmm. So when you start to get rude and maybe you swear at each other or you shout, that is to argue. My goodness. What kind I, of arguments do you have? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Was introduced and had been, not invented, Sole, but had been in invaded mm. that is the last one had been invaded mm -hmm. all right i think we're gonna slowly but surely say goodbye to everybody uh, mm -hmm. if you guys wait another 10 more minutes today is your lucky day another 10 more minutes and we both of us are back here uh, with mm -hmm. another level or another lesson for you so if you keep tuned for another 10 minutes uh, or wait another 10 minutes, we will be back. But in the mm -hmm. meantime, you can go to our Myes SOS page. If you have any uh, questions about English grammar or I don't know, go to Myes SOS. It's our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So bye guys. See you in 10 minutes. See ya.